Welcome to Real Talk with PC. I'm glad you joined us today. Hey, in all the world around us today, we see there's a lot of people who are standing up for a cause. Some are kneeling, some are boycotting, some are not supporting. But whatever it is, these people have decided that they're going to take a stand for something. I'm reminded in the Bible in Daniel chapter 3, verses 16, that there were these three young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were in Babylon or we could say uh, modern-day Atlanta, or New York, or L.A., or Chicago, or Charlotte. But they were there, and this king said, if you guys do not bow down, then I'm going to throw you into this fiery furnace, and you're going to die. Well, these three young men said, you know what, king? You don't have to worry about it. We know who we serve. We serve God. We don't serve you. Therefore, if you got to throw us into the fire, then do what you got to do. But we were going to serve God and not listen to you. You know, today, so many people are trying to enforce us to stand for a, a national anthem or sit for this or sit for that. Bottom line is, we have to stand for something. Old saying goes, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. One of the things I want to encourage you to do is stand for something. Find a cause that you are firmly behind. Ensure that it is morally sound and that it's going to change the direction and conversation of things. And if you stand for something, it will make sure that you will be someone that will be looked upon with respect and dignity. Now, I must remind you, there are going to be some people who are going to hate you, some people who are going to throw some things at you, but when it's all said and done, you will be able to be one of the few who said, I took a stand. This has been Real Talk with PC. Join us at Emmanuel Seventh-day Adventist Church, 1780 Rock Chapel Road in Lithonia, Georgia, or join us sometimes, EmmanuelSDALive.com. We look forward to seeing from you, hearing from you, and if you have any prayer requests, please send them to our Facebook, Emmanuel SDA Live, and we'll be sure to pray for you. It's been a real talk with PC. You have a great week.